Today is Wednesday, 20th of September, 2023. With Pastor Chris teaching, our theme for today's article is It's a Life of Joy. Our opening scripture is taken from 1 Peter 1, verse 8. And this says, Whom, having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. Our spirit-filled life is one of indescribable joy, irrespective of circumstances. Pastor begins. The word declares, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That we can find in Romans 14 verse 17. It's one of the reasons God tells us to be constantly filled with the Spirit and be not drunk with wine wearing in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. That we can find in Ephesians 5 verse 18. Imagine if every member of the church is filled with the Spirit and not with doubt and fear. Then you'd understand what true Christianity is. It's a life of joy. Hallelujah. Imagine everyone coming into the church meetings, singing and praising God with joy and carrying that same atmosphere everywhere. That's how it ought to be. When you are filled with the Spirit, your joy overflows. Glory to God. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. As you find in Nehemiah 8 verse 10, your spirit will continually be energized with victory and success when you are full of joy. Joy is an elixir. Moreover, the Bible says in Isaiah 12 verse 3, Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. So, Pastor says in conclusion, in spite of the things happening in the world today, be full of joy every day and express it in the liberty of the Spirit. Oh, thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Okay, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, thank you for the blessing of being continually filled with the Spirit for an all day, all time life of victory and dominion. I'm forever joyful, jubilant, triumphant, and delighted in the Spirit for a life of peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. To you be all glory and dominion forever. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Philippians 4 verse 4, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16, and then Psalm 5 verse 11 says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. So, saints, we keep bubbling. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. 
I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.